Hey guys, welcome back to another show on Mondays. I am really excited right now because this thing's here and it is very nondescript. Um, it's just a box. But what this is inside here is my first round of my first set of custom bound comics, omnibus, hardcover type things that I got in from Hooch and Bindery. And they're great. They've got great people over there. So, um, I guess while I'm opening it here, I haven't even, I haven't looked at them, I haven't seen any pictures of them. Uh, this is, the box is sealed right now, so you'll be able to see this with me. So I guess while I'm opening this, I can explain how this process works. So basically, you send in a bunch of books for, I think the starting price for one volume is 20 bucks to buy one volume of books, and that can range anywhere from one issue to like, I think people are down like 40. Um, and the average size that they get is like 20 to like 25, something like that, but like I have three of the books that I sent in are bigger, um, like I've got a couple that are like 18, 20 issues, and then a couple that are, um, that are uh, more like 9 to 14 issues, and that's just because I could have combined them to get more out of my, out of my money, but I wanted them to look nice. So, you can have them design you a cover, or you can send in a cover design of your own. I chose to design my own covers. I needed a little bit of help from the guys there, so it was an extra charge, um, just because I wasn't entirely sure how to set up the Photoshop file for the, for the spine stuff that I've done this before, but I'm opening this up now. That was pretty easy over, actually. I thought it would be more difficult to keep this There's a lot of packing here, which I'm glad. This box is like three times the size that I actually sent in. And I just sent the issues in the last one, so. Oh! Oh, so the first one. Yes! Okay, I was so worried about this because, oh my god, this is awesome. The font is a little lower quality than I would have liked, but I will keep that in mind for the future. So, um, this is what it looks like. This is awesome. So this is my Death, Death of Wolverine omnibus. It's got every single Death of Wolverine tie-in, including the actual same book, except for the uh, X-Men stuff, stuff like that. So it's got um, Death of Wolverine 1 through 4, Logan Legacy 1 through 7, Deadpool and Captain America 1-Shot, Life After Logan 1-Shot, and the Weapon X program 1 through 5. Um, so right off the bat, I am extremely glad that they, that they were able to fix the spine up because the, the spine that, um, the spine that, that I sent them in with the, I wasn't, I didn't know how to set up the spine in the Photoshop file, right? So they had to kind of fix with that. So the spine fits perfectly. Um, and there's the cover right there in all its glory. And then the back of it is one of the Death of Wolverine covers. This is a variant cover, I believe, and I put the logo and the names on there and then the, the back with this stuff. And I, I don't know if you can see, but so far, I don't know if it's just this cover, but the text is pretty JPEGged out. And I don't know if that's my fault or their fault. But, uh, it just looks like overall there's a little bit of, of JPEG artifacting. And I'm also noticing that the bind is not super sturdy, but I think that might just be because of the paper. So I also paid like an extra two bucks to get black bookends, or not bookends, but like black end, end sheets. It comes with white normally, but for an extra two dollars you can get black. I thought black just looked a little more professional. So, and opening it up, yeah, it's just just the comic that I sent in right there. There's the cover, um, with the advertisements and everything. You can I don't know if they you could probably request for them to take the advertisements out, but it's going to cost a lot more. Um, personally, I like to leave the ads in because I think it just kind of it. It, it's interesting to look at, especially if you go back years later and you're like, oh, that's, what's, that's what was happening around that time. So, this, this is awesome. There's barely any gutter loss so far at the beginning. Um, so like here, I can show you the Death of Wolverine Part 1 splash right there. I'm trying to be very careful with this because, like, you know, single issues, the paper quality is not very thick. It's very little stock, because um, that's just how single issues are, are made. But like no the the color the gutter loss is is like let's let's skip to the middle of the book and yeah, so here's about well no okay, I'm trying to get to like the yeah so this looks like looks to be about the middle right here and there is looking like there's n barely any gutter loss like maybe a centimeter of gutter loss and this is about like an 18 issue um, bind. Um, and also, I've noticed that, and this might just be a, a preference of binding stuff, but there's a, there's like a, a, a slit in there. Um, so again, that might just be a binding preference, because there's also different types of binding, and I didn't, I just got the base one, 
I didn't really look into it that much. Obviously, it's not going to be on par. Actually, cut ahead real quick. Okay, so I went and grabbed an official Marvel, um, Marvel Omnibus. So this is the Infinity Omnibus, and it's got the dust cover on it. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. You can also, um, order dust covers for like 15 bucks, and they'll print them for you or make them for you and everything like that. And they'll fit them to the book. I didn't get those because I'm not made of money. So, um, comparing them, I actually think I like the quality of the, of the wood, cardboard, whatever, on the Hoochin one. And the official one, um, the quality is actually kind of comparable? I don't know. See, this is weird to me because I've never seen text printed on something like this. Like, obviously the text on, on the dust jacket is way higher quality, but... Like, let's see, looking inside here, yeah, see, here it's bound straight to the back, and it's not going to go anywhere. And that will cause more gutter loss. But I think that's what they were going for here, and with the normal bind, is that because it's not attached directly to the back, it's going to be less gutter loss. So, and even, I'm playing it, <laughs> see, I can hold it like that, just on the, on the ends, and it's not going anywhere, which is got, which is good. Gah. So yeah, and it's got all the covers in there, and the recap pages, and the ads, and everything. I love it. Alright. So, that's the death of Wolverine 1. I probably won't go in, in depth with the rest of them, but let's do this how I did my last collector form unboxing. Just pull out. Awesome! Cool! Here's the Original Sin Axis one. I decided to combine um, the main event books for Original Sin and Axis into one book, and that's what this is. Again, I'm pretty disappointed with how the um, with how the quality of the actual print came out the book itself and the binding is all great like actually the actual content of it but the cover I'm pretty disappointed with the printing on that and I don't know if that's just an option that I did or if it's something that I messed up with the PDF that I sent in but everything like it's printed perfectly onto the book it's just it's just got a lot of artifacts on it like again the the text there it's it's legible. It's definitely legible, but it's very like um, low quality, I guess. So there's the original Synaxis one. Again, we can open it up to the middle. It's got that same type of bind. Barely any gutter loss. Pretty much no gutter loss at all. Or an ad in there in the Axis issue four. And I believe I put original Sin before Axis in here. Yep. This has this one's got original sin one, zero through eight and Avengers and X Men Axis one through nine, cool. And I think that's slightly bigger than the Death of Wolverine. Oh, okay, so here's here's a smaller one. Sweet. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that that this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is an experiment, definitely, because I was worried at how these these were gonna come out, and I am right for being worried, because some of them are not in tip top shape. Um, so this one is my, it's the small, the first really small one that I have. It's just the entirety of Superior Iron Man. It's one through nine of Superior Iron Man. And the text on this is bigger. I made the text bigger, but it's still pretty low quality. And here's the front cover um, of that one. No logo on it. The logo's on the side. And what I was saying about it is the spine on this one is really small. And... There was, again, there was miscommunication because uh, this I wasn't sure how to set up the spines, and he noticed that, the guy that was binding it noticed that um, the spines on the big ones were too big. So I, I made them too big in the Photoshop file, and I said, well, just pay an extra fee and fix them. But um, I don't think he realized that the spines on the smaller ones were too small, so there's a little bit of the front and back cover bleeding into it, if you can see that but I don't actually know if he did anything with small ones. It still looks great. It looks great, um, except for the, the slight artifact thing on it. But again, totally readable. For, for the point of what this does, of what it's for to just collect the comics in a, a nice thing, it does its job, and it does its job well. And honestly, this, even with the artifacted cover, looks way better than just having, because the, the, they can, they can make you a cover, they can even design something as complicated as this, but it's a lot of money, and for just designing, like, a simple cover, like, putting a die stamp on it, it, it'll look like 
I don't have an example here, but it would just be like, um, like one solid color with a die stamp on it, like a logo or something, and then it would just look really boring on a shelf, you know? So, this is definitely better than that. I'm trying to find that silver lining. Okay, what's next? Oh, I think this is the, yep, the time runs out one. Awesome. So this, this one is very interesting, actually. This is the Avengers Time Runs Out Axis. Uh, time Runs Out Axis. Avengers Time Runs Out Omnibus. Um, it's got uh, Avengers 35 through 44 and New Avengers 24 through 33, and they're all in order. Okay, cool. So there's the Avengers Time Runs Out one. And the last one that should be in here is the Inhuman one. Yeah. Inhuman. I really like this cover. This cover is cool. This one has Inhuman issue 1 through 14 and Inhuman Annual number one so this one actually the the spacing of it and everything might look the best the spine looks good oh there's a little bit of mess up on the spine down there and there's kind of a tear in it actually that's that's not good oh well okay so we're gonna do one last comparison shot I've got them all laid on on the bed with the infinity hardcover as well so this is what they all look like so again, we've got the Death of Wolverine Omnibus, the Time Runs Out Omnibus, the Original Sin Axis Omnibus, the Superior Iron Man Hardcover, and the Inhuman Hardcover. And then this, for comparison, is the Infinity, um, Infinity uh, Omnibus. So, what's interesting is from far away, they don't, they look pretty, pretty good. Especially the front covers when there's not too much text. Like, even like the... The most minute text is on the Death of Wolverine one with the Charles Soule and the Steve McNiven there, and from far away you can't really tell that it's that there's artifacting on it, but let's let's flip a few of these around. I guess we could just flip all of them around. And looking at the text from far away on the back, again from far away doesn't look too bad. The bigger texts are the ones that are gonna look worse, um, artifacting wise. But uh like, I think, I think the text on this one looks the best, unless you look at it up close. Um, which is, which is kind of weird, because reading text, you're gonna look at that up close, and you're gonna notice that it's not too great. Um, and actually, uh, no, because I don't think, I don't think I have any actual Marvel covers that have text written on the back of them, because they're all written, they always use, all my hardcovers use dust jackets. Actually, no, I do, because the, uh, Stuff like the new Avengers hardcovers, the small hardcover trades have text on them. So yeah, comparing that official Marvel book, official Marvel hardcover to this. On camera, it doesn't look too bad. In fact, it looks pretty good on camera, but in real life, it is very noticeable that there's artifacting on it. It's just not sharp. It's, it's basically if you, if you saved it as a JPEG and compressed it a lot. Um, so, and not a lot. I'm kind of over over exaggerating, but still, um, and it being a a free print, they don't charge to print the the graphic covers that you send. If you make if you have them make you a graphic cover, not then. sitting around my room, my house, um, so I would put them in these hardcovers, and then, uh, it would, it would reduce space, and we could put them on a shelf, and they would look nice. So, will I do this again? Yes, most definitely. Will I use Hooch and Bindery? Maybe. I'm probably only gonna do this about once a year, maybe every six months, something like that. The bind is, is good, the bind is great, there's no gutter loss for reading it, everything looks fine, there's no, like, color deterioration on the comics, the actual content of everything is fine, the actual thing that I was, that, um, I'm judging is the print and the bind, and the bind's great, the print could be better, but again, it was free, um, so, yeah, so I guess that's my review slash look at the, my first round of custom bound comics from Hooch and Bindery. And there are a couple other binderies out there that I might use, um, but the Hooch and Bindery people are really nice and they, they get back to you quickly, stuff like that, so, um, yeah, I don't know. Customer service versus difference in, um, 
printing. And of course, there might also be just like a way to get a higher quality print from them. I don't know. I have to do some research. But at this point, I'm just rambling. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to do this yourself, I will leave the link to Hooch and Bindery in the description. Go check them out. They're great. Um, cheap prices, too. The prices are really good. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.